Hi everyone, in this lecture I'm going to show you how you can install MySQL on Windows machines. Again, I'm really sorry that I cannot provide uh, installation guides for Mac OS or any other operating system because I can I only have Windows I can only afford Windows maybe in the future if I could afford Mac I will be able to add, I, I will definitely add installation guides for those for Mac users out there um, again I'm sorry you I'm sure uh, if you look around you can look online you will be able to install it um, I'm going to show you where you can get the DMG executable file for Mac. I think it is the executable file for Mac. And I think if you take, if you watch closely the Windows installation, you're going to come up with an idea how you can install uh, this software on your machine as well. I'm sure you can do it even without any uh, resource or prior knowledge. Now, if you do have some experience with MySQL or with SQL, then you can go ahead and skip this lecture. You can go to even skip this chapter. You can go to the next chapter where we start with um, uh, basic SQL syntax and querying data. So go ahead, go to mysql.com or mysql.com. From there, click on the downloads menu. And when you click on the downloads menu, this page is going to be is going to open up. And when you scroll down, you're going to see MySQL community downloads. When you click on this, this is completely free, of course. When you click on that, you're going to come to this page. From here, just click on the MySQL community server and you're going to come to here. Now, when if you're on Windows, you should automatically see this, that it says Microsoft Windows. If you're on a Mac, you can click on the Mac OS and go to and just download this DMG archive. I, uh, if you have a Mac, I'm sure you are very familiar with how you, how you can install uh, software on Mac and I'm sure you're familiar with this DMG file as well you can get the uh, GM uh, you can get uh, six, uh, through 2 bit and 64 bit just go ahead and download it and install it but I'm just going to show it for Windows because I am on Windows so for Windows users you can just click on go to downloads page <clears throat> excuse me or you can just go ahead and click on this this image when you click on it you're going to come to this page and from here this 2.45 uh, windows installer is going to install for us it's not going to download anything but it is going to install for us the necessary packages and tools to get started with mysql now what i've done is uh, i have uh, uh uninstalled MySQL for in on my machine I have installed it again and I've taken some screenshots the reason for that is my internet is extremely slow and it would take like four or five hours probably for me to uh, come up uh, to go ahead and install it on and record it so that was not possible I'm just going to guide you through the installation so after this uh, installer is downloaded just go ahead and double click on it and you're going to see some uh, this window open up and on this window don't do anything it's uh, the developer default this is what we want to install then click on next you're going to come to this window now depending on your machine and depending on whether you have installed mysql before or not you're going to see different requirements just go ahead and click next and if you have not installed mysql before then you're going to see that it is going to require it is going to require the downloading of mysql server workbench now this workbench is the gui tool the the tool that we are going to work with the graphical user interface for the mysql database now i have i did delete all of them and installed them just to show you that this is the kind of window that you might get and this is where it takes a long like a long long time for me so just go ahead and click on execute it is going to start downloading all of them when they're complete just go ahead and click on next you're going to come to this window uh, oh when uh, and then you can after they're downloaded you need to install them so just click on execute and from there you're going to come to this window which is uh, which says installation complete even though the installation is completed there are uh, quite a lot of uh, uh, more steps remaining as well 
there were 21 total steps so don't do anything just click on this tick mark start mysql workbench after setup and start uh, mysql uh, shell after setup just click finish and then you're gonna see this window this is the terminal just go ahead and close it after you close it you're gonna see something like this so this is mysql this is uh, welcome to mysql workbench you can also search for it here as well mysql uh, you're gonna get uh, mysql workbench as well and um well uh you're you're not going to see anything so you can see that i have mysql connections you're not going to see anything in here so what you're going to do is just go ahead and open up your start menu and search for mysql installer community when you find this just click on it and you're going to see some this window when you see this window you can see that we need to reconfigure the mysql server and the mysql work uh, sorry mysql uh, router as well as the samples and examples so first go ahead and click on the reconfigure for mysql server you're going to come to this page um, do not do anything in here just go ahead and click next and just leave it leave everything as it is click next and then here you need to pass in a password now this password is the kind of password that is going to be required whenever you're working with the server so each sql instance is going needs to be connected to a specific server and that server requires a password so keep in mind that you need to write out this password you need to keep it so when you click next you need you're going to come to this window uh, don't do anything in here just click next you're going to come to here just execute everything and you can see that everything is executed and then click on finish you're going to come back uh, to this mysql installer community you would still see that server is reconfigured but that is because you might reconfigure multiple servers that's why it's not going to go away then click on this reconfigure for mysql uh, router and from there you're going to see uh, this window don't do anything in here just click finish and then you can see that the mysql router is removed from here and the final step is just to click on the reconfigure for samples and examples uh, for in here just enter the password that you have previously created for this uh, server this needs to connect to the server and then click next from there you need to apply these configurations for server just execute them they're completed and then click on finish and then when you open up your mysql workbench you're going to see an instance with the name of root you're going to see that instance being created there so with this our installation comes to an end and I just want to show you that how you can create another connection as well so what I would like to do is uh, I'm going to give you these um, I'm going to give you multiple uh, SQL files for every lecture that we uh, uh, the same way as when we work with Python for each chapter we had multiple lectures and all of the lectures were provided the code was provided to you so what I would like to do is do the same thing using MySQL as well. It is a little bit more work for me because I need to save as everything because it's a little bit more hassle with MySQL than it is with VS Code. VS Code is very simple in this kind of creating files and, and saving them uh, in other directories. This is going to be some extra hassle, but I would like to do it for you. So you have the code. Uh, you do have it. You, you can watch these videos, but what if you don't have time enough to watch? Watch the videos you just want to go to a specific lecture and extract the code and take a look at the code for that sequel instead of like watching me uh, do all the code to just find what it is that you're looking for so in my sequel connections just go ahead and click on this plus sign when you click on when you click on this plus sign you're going to see this window open up you need to provide it with your connection name I'm just going to call it Helali INC and um, nothing else you do not have to provide anything else just click on test connection and it is going to ask for uh, your password and i'm just going to pause the video and enter the password 
So I have entered my password. I'm just going to click on OK. And it, and it says successfully made the SQL connection and everything is completed. When you click on OK, you can just click on OK here. And you're going to see that this instance is called Halali INC. You, you, can, you, you just have to click on it. Just click on it and yeah it is going to open up so this is the mysql workbench we're going to go over this interface in our next chapter so this is going to be the first um uh, lecture in our next chapter that i'm going to show you what this interface is how we can work with it so that's it for this lecture see you in the next one